uh, to go back to the WNBA thing, this is, your position is one that I've heard many, many women say, and especially like you can look at the women's soccer team, the national women's soccer team for the USA. They're always like talking about how unfair it is that they get paid less money. Mm -hmm. The reason why it's like that is because sports and sports broadcasting is a business. Mm -hmm. And the reality is far less people want to watch women play soccer. It's not like right. there's not some like, gosh. Grid One Motorsports donated $100. Okay, Chase, last one. Sorry it throws you off. Ladies that think you are feminist, please try and understand that men value you. But feminism must devalue it's men. It's true. Curious what what qualities do you look for in a man? Here, we'll come back to... Yeah, I think we should get I'll back write that, that question down. We'll come back to that, so... Yeah, but it ultimately comes down to... The, like, there's not, right. like, a governmental organization that's like, we're going to pay them this much. For sure. The teams play. There's advertisers that yeah. pay advertising money. And right. then they get, like... It's a business. They get a cut of that. But I also think it's because men for so long have been in a position of power and have been looked at as, like, the more physical, whatever, are the ones who go out and work, are the ones who do sports, are the ones who do this. So they have more years of it being socially acceptable. It's, it's So not. it's, like... It's not. It's I hate to burst your bubble. Wait, it's not. I think but, it's that complicated. But related to that, hold on. Go underscore aunt underscore the underscore TBL underscore yes underscore or underscore no donated $99. Be honest. Do you THNK it's possible that men outperform women in hierarchies not involving sex plus beauty not because of sexism but because men have to acquire power and resources to attract women and so invest more hours, effort, and energy on competence? It's actually a really good point yeah, um, because there's a, there is a mating pressure on men to because there's a lot of women who want men to be providers, but there's not a lot of men who want women to be providers. Ergo, there's a larger cohort of women who in a partner desire a guy who can provide, a guy who makes good money. Therefore, can you make the argument that if there's this massive pressure from the opposite sex for men to make money, that they're probably going to want, like have a more of a there's performance pressure there's we a have performance to perform. pressure we have to perform see that that's the thing women oftentimes almost always are selected by men because of their physical appearance their personality their energy so on and so forth w women generally speaking don't really select men based on just their physical appearance obviously women care about personality every woman likes a funny man for example and a guy with confidence but men, in order to you know, really secure a woman, they ha we have to perform. We have to make money. We have to be able to provide, especially if you want a traditional woman. Like we have to perform in society and provide value. So there's like competition, right? And the men who are performing the highest typically get the most attractive women, right? This is why like the celebrities, the athletes, uh, the, you know, all, all, of, all of these like wealthy businessmen, they have the greatest selection when it comes to women. So there's like a huge, there's a huge competition among men to perform at the highest levels possible, but women don't have to compete in that same way in order to lock down a partner. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Which is kind of what drives this inequality throughout society. Like you have- One for, of the factors. Yeah it's, yeah, it's it's one of the factors. Like you have, think about like all the billionaires in the world, they're almost all men. Mm -hmm. Because men, we have this, you know, we were talking about hormones before. Men have the hormone testosterone. This makes us competitive, it makes us aggressive. Mm -hmm. Because of the hormone testosterone, you have you often have like super driven men that are like extremely focused on their career and bringing value to society, and they become obsessed with their careers, mm -hmm. and they make billions of dollars, and they rise to the top of the hierarchy. And dudes are driven to do this for any number of reasons. Oftentimes, pulling in the best women is one of those motivating factors, whether or not men are conscious of it. So you have this natural thing that's driving massive inequality in society that just exists in nature. And I don't think it's because of sexism that that exists. I think it's just because of human nature. You guys think that's fair? I think that uh, that is fair. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that is fair. It's it's the same pressure that women feel to be as beautiful as they possibly can. Exactly. And so that's it's it's the exact same pressure. So if I say, if men are like, well, you don't have to wear makeup, you don't have to buy all this stuff. It's like, well, I don't have to, but I do. I have to outperform other women with my beauty in order to attract the kind of man who's high, who's performing to be whatever, have the most resources or whatever, because men are valued for their resources and women are valued for their beauty. That's absolutely correct. That's biology. That's how yes. we're made. Go ahead. You had something? 
I, can I sorry, really yeah. quick, can I say something before that though? I think what there's many different forms of feminism, but I think the reason that the feminist movement had to happen, although yes, it can be extreme, is because um, men abused that power and because they created the structure of the workforce to benefit them. Yes, maybe in an ideal world, if men like protected women and they, we didn't have to suffer like, and like be scared every time I went outside. I carry pepper spray everywhere I go just in case. Like, and we hear all of these stories that are like, I'm b being put in danger. I need a man to protect me from other men. Who knows what a society would be like if there wasn't that kind of abuse? And I'm not saying that women don't do anything, but I'm saying, we're just all fucked up and we need each other to help like us balance the scales and for a really long time like there was just this huge inequality as far as like safety goes so i think women are saying like mean? i need to feel safe <laughs> like so well it, I, I need mean, some power i need some financial power because these men are like making me feel unsafe you know what i'm saying so that's why we kind of needed that feminism. well you, you, I, I think women are much less safe now than they were under the protection of a man who actually loved them i think nowadays you have so many strong independent women out there that are like boss babes and they're out there working and they're uh walking alone late at night throughout major cities and they don't have a man who's protecting them and these women get assaulted you know like mm -hmm. whereas back in the day throughout traditional what you might call patriarchal societies uh, women were accompanied by men oftentimes where they would go because yes, the mm -hmm. world is a brutal place. It always yeah. has been throughout all of human history. I, I would argue that women were oftentimes safer back then. I would also argue too, what you call, um, or what many feminists call like liberation and bringing women into the workforce so that they could get their independence. And, and uh, you know, this is something that they secured for their own good. I would plant the seed Oh, Rip one Gosh, dude, this one this, bro. It's like it's killing the convo. Sumi. Copy Kiko, please. You carry mace because of feminism. Men used to protect women, but you have shamed them into being soy boys. Realize that men are not the evil you want them to be. What's a soy Copy boy? Kiko. <laughs> I think we should raise it to like 150 so we can have conversation go on for more than two minutes. Maybe Grid, wait, if you can give it a, give us 30 minutes just to get through this conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think, I think, <clears throat> you know, I hear a lot of women talk about how they secured independence through jo joining the workforce, and there's an argument to be made there. I also think this idea of, like, liberation and empowerment through working, like, you know, I talked about this on the last episode. Read Alexander Tocqueville's writings. Like, the women of the 1800s in America, they did not see themselves, by and large, as oppressed. Like, they they knew where their domain was and that that was in the home, and it was, they had pride in mastering that. And they raised awesome families, and they were awesome wives, and they, there was dignity in that position. Like, to be a great homemaker, it's a very, it's a very important role, right? I think get, getting women out of that position and into the workforce for the people at the top who run this whole society, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden you have twice the amount of people that are working in industry to support this entire capitalist superstructure and then paying taxes. It's possible that what you call women's liberation has actually been exploiting women as taxpayers when they might be much happier at home as uh, wives and homemakers. They have you thought about that? They might be. Um I, I can't speak for every woman, but I do think that there are some women who just want to work and they sure. want to have that option to work. And I don't, I think that there just should be that option. <laughs> if women, cause I mean, I'm somebody who, yes, I want to be a mother. Yes, I want to have a husband. I do want to have children. That is a desire of mine, but some people do not. And I also have a desire to have a successful business just because I want to prove that to myself. I like working i guess like i don't know about the traditional workforce but like i want to make money for myself like um i want to be able to leave a relationship if it's not good so i want to have that option and i think before it was kind of forced upon women to choose a certain way and i think women were like well just in case i want to have an option has it gone to an extreme measure i think in some cases yes when you say you want to be able to work so you have the option to choose to leave a relationship, yes. do you mean in the context of marriage? Um, yeah, any kind of relationship where I might be dependent on a man to support me. Okay. Do you want like a traditionally masculine man? Kind of sounded like that How do earlier. you define traditional masculine man? Well, I mean, do you, do you want like a 21st century kind of like metro feminine guy or do you want like a 
you know, strong, masculine man who's like the leader in the relationship? Like, what kind of guy do you want? What are the qualities of a traditional masculine man? You like, t- break you, it down. You, you for tell me. me what kind of man. You I'll want. tell you what kind of man I want. Okay. Um, I want somebody who. Um, where there's like mutual support and whatever we feel like our purpose is okay. on earth. Okay. Um, I, yes, I think for me personally, because I do want to have children, I do want a man who, if you know, we decided to have children, it wouldn't be like financially burdensome for us to have children. And I get to choose like, depending on how much money I'm making at the time, depending whatever, like what kind of man like what his finances are, are or whatever, how, many, get how much resources. You get to choose what his finances are? What do you mean? No, sorry. I get to choose the wh- the kind of men I choose. Like I can look at who, their finances and then choose according to that, depending on my situation as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, gotcha. Yeah, no, it, it totally makes sense. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm hearing, you know, it sounds like you want things relatively equal in the relationship in, uh, in many ways, in terms of the power dynamic and stuff. Uh, and you also want equal power dynamics and a lot of equality throughout society, correct? I don't want, I feel like women should feel empowered to make the choices that best serve them. Okay, that's not an answer to my question. Earlier in the conversation, mm-hmm. you know, we, we've been having this conversation in the context of equality in society, and mm-hmm. you're telling me that you want, like, understandably, an equivalence in the power dynamic with the relationship. You want to be making your money. You want him to be making his. You guys want to be able to mutually support one another, correct? Um, yes, but if I do have a child, I do want to have the option to not have to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want all of this equality throughout society, but also in your relationship, why do you not want equality when it comes to splitting the bill? Um, Well, how are you defining equality? Equality is a big Equality when it comes to splitting the bill, like I pay 50, you pay 50. Uh, Again, I don't think that equality means that you do the same thing. I think it means that you bring equal value to the relationship or equal value to whatever the situation is. Wait, can I say something? So if it... If that means you both bring equal value, would that mean you would also pay rent, like half the rent, or would you expect your partner to pay like full rent, groceries, everything like that, even if you're working at the same time? Um, I haven't been in a situation where, I, I wouldn't go into a relationship where I, I would expect my man to pay the rent and pay for all that stuff. If I'm pregnant, so 50, 50. if I'm pregnant, um, I mean, it, I think it just depends on your financial situation and who you are with, but. I'm not opposed to going 50-50 with rent. Like if we make like equal amounts of money or whatever, I wouldn't be opposed to sharing. Mm -hmm. I ideally wouldn't choose that. I would ideally like to not have to work, but we don't live in a society where like you can, I mean, you can, you can attract whoever you want, whatever, choose whatever you want. But no, that wouldn't be like, I have to have that or I'm not gonna be with you. Mm -hmm. If, if, but it depends on their energy. It depends on their ambition, you know, if like, their desire is to do that. Their desire is to provide, to give me whatever he possibly can to take care of me to make me feel at ease. That energy is more of what I'm looking for than like an actual number. So, okay, so let's say you meet a guy and he's like, yo, I want to provide for you. I want to take care of you. He's mm-hmm. happy to pay for the bill on the first date mm-hmm. and the subsequent dates. Mm-hmm. And he's like, this whole like you having a business thing and like mm-hmm. going and working out in the world, I don't really want you to do that, but I am going to take care of you and you mm-hmm. trust him, mm-hmm. and he wants to, you to be like a stay-at-home mom, would you be open to that? I would ask, why don't you want me to work? Well, I can answer as, as a guy who sure. wants a wife who's a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. Why would I want my wife out in the world working for some random guy when she could be home with me? Like, I, I have my own yeah. business, you know? Yeah. Like, I want my woman with me cooking for me, being there to support me, to mm-hmm. take care of me, to hang out with. That's something women are very, very good at when they mm-hmm. dedicate themselves to it. Why would I want my woman out there working at some corporation or whatever when she could be home with me? Why would I want her to do that? Yeah. Um, well, for me, if I'm working some job just to make money, then I totally get that argument. No, because it's, it's You're going, if, if a guy wanted to do that for you and he wanted to mm-hmm. take care of you in that way, would you be open to it? I would say that... Um, the reason that I do the work that I do is because it develops me as a human being and it makes me it is impossible to get a straight answer out of you I think you wouldn't be okay I I like to do I like to do the work can I chime in go ahead ahead. because there's no way I will never not be pursuing my dream and career yeah like I it's not a job 